this video, we will take the folds that we used in the last video and turn them into a more complex card. We'll look at parallel folds, angle folds, things that pop up from the top edge, and rotations. First I began with creating sketches of what I would like the card to look like and then I worked out the mechanics on a scratch piece of paper. Remember the parallel folds from the previous video? The ones that open like this. So for my red panda's mouth, I've turned this idea on its side, like this, and added a tongue. I'm getting ready to put it together now. Thought we could do it together. So the first thing I've done is I've created that fold inside the red panda's mouth. Just like in the example, I've got main part that folds out and then I have the little part that gets pushed back in. Now for this I have the added bonus of this little pink oops, this way, little pink um, tongue that's going to stick out. So I'm going to glue that in first. my tongue will have a little piece that will keep it from sticking outside of the mouth. And it will open up just like this. Okay, so it's going to go on the underside of my face. So this is going to get glued to the top portion of the red panda's head. red panda's body. But I'm not going to glue it all the way down because I want it to be able to open up with, with ease. So mostly I'll just glue that portion and then the bottom of the jaw will get glued all the way down. Trying hard to not get glue on all my layers so that everything doesn't get glued to itself. Line up all my little edges there. Voila! Now we have the little yawning panda. And as soon as I find that little piece that goes under the tongue, the tongue will stay in place. Alright, I glued the body of my, my red panda mostly to the card. I have a few spaces open where I know things will need to go underneath it. And now I'm going to get ready to put on the portion of the card that is like the angle fold that we did in the, in the previous video. 
So I've created this right here. You can see the, the angle fold here. And it will get these little Easter eggs glued onto it here and will pop open like that. So first thing I'm going to do is cover up this hole here that's created by the fold. So I've made a little special piece to glue on there. I'll glue that on first, and then we'll glue the eggs on. So this is going to go right in here. I don't want to get glue everywhere. I just want to get glue right where I need it. to this little face here of the ankle fold. So we'll go ahead and put some glue there and stick our Easter eggs on. Now I want my eggs to be just barely popping up from the, the grass here. So I've, I've made it so you can kind of see that there's something behind there working. And when you pull the, the flap down, the eggs pop up and around. Just like that. Now, on the finished card, this will go here. But I'm going to wait until I get my tail segment finished until I add it to the card. I've been working on the rotation portion of my project. So you'll remember from this exercise that you can have objects that pop out and rotate. So on my project, I'm wanting an Easter egg that pops out from behind this tail. And I spent a lot of time working <coughs> excuse me, on the mechanics of this. So in order to make something rotate, you need two circles. So I have created two circles, one in the bottom group of eggs and one in the top egg. You may be like, oh, wait a minute, I don't see a circle there. So there was a circle. <laughs> And then I cut away the circles so that I had the shapes that I wanted, but I kept this part in the original circle and this part of the original circle. And all of my creases were made with the original circle. So I know that my creases are right and these two points are correct. And the rest I can cut away from and still have a functioning rotation. Now, getting it from this point to the finished product has been just a little bit tricky because I'm dealing with a different weight of paper and everything just kind of, it's just a wee bit different, but I think I've got it worked out. I've, um, I've taken my, my bottom group here and I've glued them into the tail already. And now I'm ready to add the top egg on. I've marked exactly where my little tabs will go. They're 22 and a half degrees from the center point here, and 22 and a half degrees from that, that uh, center point there. Mm, so for this, I'm going to use some tape. Um, it takes the glue a little bit too long to dry. And, uh, I don't have enough patience to wait. So I've actually taped some some little tabs onto onto my egg here, and now I'm going to tape these eggs together for these tabs for these eggs. 
Now, the moment of truth. The first bolt's kind of tricky. Hopefully, we'll get it right. And there's our little egg. Let's have a look at the finished card. So, first, the tail opens, revealing the rotating egg that spins and pops up. Next we see where we've used the angle fold and the leaves fold down. And the little legs pop up and rotate. And then the little red panda's mouth yawns and opens wide. We haven't talked much about the mechanics of the inside of the card, uh, mostly because this card was a surprise for someone in the house, and um, I had to be very careful about the times that I filmed. But now that it's finished, we can talk all about it. So if you recall, we did a sample of a pop-up card that pops up from the top edge of a card. So. I wanted to use that um, in this card, and in the beginning, just like the front, I started out with a sketch, and then I worked out my mechanics um, with scrap paper. So in this version of the card, I have a heart that pops up from the top. Now as you'll see here in a few minutes, this gets changed in, in the real version. Um, the other thing that I wanted to do in this card that's a little bit different um, than what we talked about in the previous video is I wanted to have a red panda pop up from the center, pop up but from off the center. So in the packet um, that I presented to you in the last video, um, there was this template. And if you notice, this template doesn't have anything that pops up directly from the center. It has things that pop up from just off center. And the way that that's accomplished is this distance between um, things on this side of the center line and the distance that little tabs are used to pop up is the same amount. So you can create anything that pops up off-center using this principle. So I worked out how to make Red Panda pop up from the center, or from off-center. And then I also worked out how to make balloons pop up from off-center. And then I did something a little bit crazy that I'll show you here in a few minutes with a spinning balloon. So let's see how this turned out in the actual card. So as we open the card, the panda pops up. From off center and the balloons pop up from off center and they're in several different layers. Now you may notice that as the card is only halfway open the pop-up on the top isn't really noticeable until you open the card all the way. So it turned out the heart that I had planned um, was too large. It was too big and it, it covered the balloons as they were popping up. So it got changed into just a little balloon. 
there popping up at the top. Here's a close-up of the inside of the cloud and the balloon spinning open. Karagami can be both fun and challenging. I hope you've enjoyed watching what you can create with the parallel fold, the angular fold, the top edge pop-up, and the rotation. Thank you for watching.